you know, sometimes I think I'm the one going crazy. The way my partner treats me, it's just not right. He calls me names. He belittles me. He makes me feel like I'm worthless. And then he turns around and he says he loves me and that he's sorry and he'll change. And I start to doubt myself. Maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe I'm too sensitive. Maybe I'm the one with the problem. That's what gaslighting does to you. It makes you doubt yourself, question your own sanity. It's a form of psychological abuse that's all about power and control. And it's not something that just happens to people. When you're in an abusive relationship, your abuser wants you to feel powerless. They want you to doubt your own reality. They want you to rely on them for everything. And eventually, you start to do it to yourself. You start to question your own memory and your own experiences. You start to believe that maybe it wasn't so bad. Maybe you deserved it. Really, it's a way of coping. It's easier to blame yourself than to accept that someone you love could hurt you like this, could betray you like this. But here's the truth. You didn't deserve it. You didn't ask for it. You don't have to accept it. You don't have to gaslight yourself into believing that you're the problem. You can break the cycle of abuse and actually start to heal. So how do you stop gaslighting yourself? The first step is to recognize when you're doing it. Notice when you're questioning your own reality or blaming yourself for someone else's actions. And then start to challenge those thoughts. Ask yourself, is this really true? Did I really deserve this? And most importantly, seek help. Talk to a therapist, a coach, or a trusted friend. Get support. Get validation from people who believe you and want to help you heal. Gaslighting is a form of abuse, even when it's coming from yourself. But you can break free from it. You can learn to trust yourself again, to believe in your own experiences. Stronger than